seems like everybody is talking about their families, where they come from. And, but we don't have anything on and that's what's important to us right now. Uh, I am mayor. I have two children, Michelle and Mark. I am an engineer by profession, so also I am a pipe fitter as well. Uh, my involvement with the city, I sit on PAC, the Planning Advisory Committee, and I was involved with the Committee of Adjustment and Consent Authority. What this committee would do to us basically is just give us an insight into how the city basically has, how the city operates. Um, I also had, I was involved with Habitat for Humanity. Uh, we sent plumbers and pipe fitters and who would want to volunteer. We built the home for the less fortunate. I have been doing it for the past few years. And uh, at one time, also I was involved with the uh, United Way as well. Marina and I, we, we sat on it for a couple of years. I have been visited at this ward for the past 25 years. I know that my name is well known in this room. Today I want to talk to you about four issues facing this ward and our city. It's okay, you don't have to. Yeah. I would like to talk to you about jobs. Seems like this is number one issue on everybody's mind. We also want to talk about this skyrocketing water rate and the infrastructure and as well as my colleague mentioned skunks, rats and some vermin. Um, let's, let's try to be honest. Windsor had the, the world record over the past seven years. In each of these four years, I know we can do better. This election is about choosing a change. A change in style, a change in judgment, and a change in representation. It is about doing better. We must position ourselves to overcome these economic challenges together. We want to do it to shed that name that we did have, the unemployment cap of Canada. We've got to get that of it. So, why I want to be your city council? To make this city a great place to live and raise a family. It is about our local economy and jobs. My opponent had a, had a choice. He had seven years to fix this problem and he's, and it's still, he still, and that I could actually speak for itself. We can't blame, we can't blame every, anybody else on this global economy and senior level of government. As a member, as a member of the council, my opponent failed over the last two years to move fast enough to provide our Economic Development Commission and Tourism Board with the tools they need to bring businesses and jobs to Windsor. By the way, a couple of days ago, um, I was on CTLW 800 AM. We have a program called Expert on Call. I received a few calls. One of the callers was from, uh, from a young fellow in grade 12. He was asking what's the prospect of job for me in Windsor. My friend and I, we've been talking, what, what can we do? Are we going to leave our mom and dad? Are we going to leave our city? Well, we don't have to go any further. I have two children. I have Michelle and Mark. Michelle ended up going to work in Windsor, and Mark now is working in Alberta. I love to have them here, but there is no job. It is about skyrocketing water rate. We pay the highest water rate in Ontario. We have been hit with backdoor hidden taxes by double digit increases in our water rate. 86% in the past two years. My opponent sat as a member on the Windsor Utility Commission at that time. When he became chairman of the Windsor Utility Commission, he wanted another 33%. Thanks goodness, council members like Bill Mara and others used common sense to understand that the people in Windsor, especially at this time, cannot afford another huge increase. Everyone in this room has been paying higher water bills. We all know when the utility commission has plenty of money, it's a question of how they're managing this money. 
when I talk to laid off auto workers whose SUV is running out, young families, senior people on fixed income. These people are struggling to pay their bills. I'm sorry. Five minutes is up. That's fine. You will have to. Thank you. <laughs>